Good evening, class. I will be showing you guys how to use the tool Vocabulary. Vocabulary is an application that allows kids to be creative through music. It's a way for them to express themselves through rap. So this site allows teachers to implement lessons from all different subjects. So they have language arts, math, science, social studies, vocabulary, and life skills. All of these subjects are aligned with their standards and it allows the teacher to create an atmosphere of engagement through music. Um, I know uh, kids nowadays, they love music and to be able to adapt music into the classroom is really, really beneficial for the teacher and the student's learning experience. So as you can see on my screen, I have lessons where you can go through and vocabulary all already has lessons made for the teacher. So I'm a language arts teacher. So as you can see, they have reading and writing, research and study skills, literature and grammar. So say, for example, I want to teach reading and writing. So I will click on the reading and writing. They have all different types of lessons that students can learn about reading and writing. For example, I taught my students different types of figurative language and I used the onomatopoeia video. Now the videos are according to the different grade levels, but there's ways that you can make these um, lessons your own to adapt them to your grade level. So I click on the onomatopoeia when and they give you the option to assign this to your students, which you have classes, or you can tap on teachers resources and they have the TEKS with vocabulary words that they'll be studying. They have handouts for you. So you can print out this handout for students to work on if you wanted to. They also have a lesson plan. So if you are not able to create your own lesson plan, they have one for you with objectives, materials, um, how long it'll take and what you can do in that lesson. So it's really awesome for the teacher. Also, like I said, the standards and what they align with are here and you can find the standards according to your state. Now, what I love about this is that they have a video here. With this video, it teaches them how to learn this technique or this material. So the video is a rap. And what's cool about the rap is that it's catchy. So it's this rap and all the students will start remembering the rap and they'll begin to learn while rapping. Also, if you have students that cannot see or they need a hand copy so they can read along with it, they provide the lyrics for you. So you can print these out as well. Um, but with that being said, they have the video. What's, What's up, up, everybody? everybody? Flocabulary in the building. Have you ever been watching the cartoon and seen the word like splat? Yeah, that's the onomatopoeia. Listen up. When you read silently, something is lost. The sounds of the words when you speak or talk. Words have meaning, I have found. But they also have a sound. And some words are especially wild when they sound like the things that they describe. We call this effect onomatopoeia. Examples, yeah, I got them right here. Take a word like cock a doodle doo. That sort of sounds like. So that's an example of the rap video. So it teaches them onomatopoeia through rap lyrics. Now, a cool option that the teacher has as well is to do discussion points. So what will happen is as the video is playing, it'll stop at certain points and ask a question. And the teacher can go ahead and present the question to the class and she can have them take a minute to turn to their partner and talk about it. And then the students can write down their answers and then they can share out aloud. So it'll have different parts. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. Take a word like slap or clap, pop, spit, or splash. Words that sound like what they mean, what? Boom, it's onomatopoeia. Causing the splash from here to Topeka. Clap, clap, onomatopoeia. Words that sound like what they mean, what? Boom, it's onomatopoeia. Causing the splash from here to Topeka. Clap, clap, onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia can be used to get the... 
So how do you think onomatopoeia helps create mood? So the students can take this question and turn and speak with their shoulder partner, and then they can go ahead and write down the answer, and then the teacher can allow them to share out. So that's a pretty good uh, tool to use in order to get the classroom participate and keep students on task, because they will sort of get caught into the rap and not listen to actually what they're being taught. So this will allow them to reflect on what the rapper is saying. So this is the video option, which I think is the best option on vocabulary. This is one of the best tools that's implemented in this program. Another thing that's cool about this program is you can assign kids vocabulary cards. So you can assign the students vocabulary cards. And these cards basically have them uh, create sentences or draw pictures according to the vocabulary word. So if they click on a card, it'll give them the definition. It'll give them the word used in a sentence. And also, they can hear the word being Audience. used. So once they're done, they have the option to either write with this word, which means they'll create a sentence themselves, or they can draw a picture. So use this word in a sentence or give an example to show you understand. Or they can go back and draw a picture. Another cool option is the game. So for students to review their um, vocabulary words, they can play a game that creates a beat for them. So if they get the answer right, they'll be able to create a beat. Another game is basically, or not a game, another option for students to do is also read and respond. And I think this is wonderful, especially for the language arts teachers, because they give them questions where they have to read and then answer the question. So it's making sure that they're comprehending those vocabulary words and being able to notice them in context with reading. So this is another option to do. And then at the end of their lesson, they'll have a quiz to ensure that they learned. Um, the material. And another wonderful option is for students to create their own rap. So to give them the vocabulary words, and it'll tell them to write a rhyme using those vocabulary words. And it'll also give them rhymes to use after. So if I start off with, today we learned about ano motto. They can click on Get Rhymes, and I guess they don't have anything for me, but it just depends on what they put, and it'll help them come up with rhymes to go with their lyrics. So students can create their own uh, rhyme, and the teacher will be able to um, listen to them and also um give them extra credit or play the best one for the whole class or if they're into them into the vocabulary competitions that this website uh, provides for the students. They're also able to choose a beat that they want to go with their lyric. So it's really cool. So this is something, this website is something that could be used in the classroom. It could take over several days to complete, but it keeps the students and it keeps them engaged and it keeps them excited about learning. Now, another cool thing about vocabulary is that you have classes. So you can create a class or your classes will be imported from Google Classroom if you have that. Or if your school buys the software, they can, um, your classes will already be arranged on there. So for instance, my classes are already there. So if you click on your student's uh, class, uh, you can create an assignment, which allows you to, um, 
bring the lessons in from the ones that Flow Cabulary already has provided, and you can add it to their uh, class, and the students can complete it. Now, you also have past assignments. So as you can see, my students have completed some assignments. And if you click on the past assignments, I have all of my students' results. And Vocabulary grades everything for you except the vocab cards because the teacher has to go in and grade those cards to make sure they're writing the correct sentences or the correct picture. Also, you can get individual responses from the students. So you have to select a student and you can see their responses individually. And you also have the comprehension analysis. So based off each question, you'll see how many students uh, comprehended that question, and you'll get those results. So vocabulary is an awesome tool. I think it is amazing for the classroom. Um, I think that teachers have to be able to find a way to implement it in. I wouldn't just throw it at the students. I would help them and guide them. So if I was to use this in my classroom, I would most definitely start off with the video, show them the video, uh, see, uh, see if they enjoy it. And then once you show them the video once, I will show the video again and then have them look at those discussion questions as a group. And then I'll maybe break them off with partners to do the vocab card so they can work on that together so they'll be able to get feedback from each other. And then individually, they can do the read and response and the quiz. And also they can create their own rap. So it's out however the teacher wants to implement this in a classroom, but I just believe this is a wonderful app for all subjects to use, and, um, and I think the kids will love it, and I know for sure the teacher will enjoy. This is Vocabulary, and I hope you guys enjoyed this development.